Yo, what's up? Joshua Casper here with another Max for Live tutorial. This one's kind of a quick tip. Uh, shouldn't take too long, and it's going to be about how to figure out which cell number each of the keys on your keyboard is. Inside of Max for Live, it's so dope that you can use uh, just very easily assign keys on your keyboard to functionality inside your Max for Live device. And um, there's a lot of keys on the keyboard, not to mention the shift and the control and the alt, and that's a whole other set of keys. But um, there's a couple of ways, at least two that I know, of ways you can find out how to, uh, what cell number those are. And that's S-E-L for cell. So uh, the first thing we need to do is come in here and N for an object and key. Oops. Report keyboard presses. That's what we want. And the first method I'm going to show you is the print method. So I'm going to come in and N again and print. And it says print any message in the max window. This is the max window here. So that's good. And now if you come up here to these um, little outlets down here, we can come to this third one that says, if you read the box, it says modifier keys of key pressed. And this is platform independent keyboard code of key pressed. So what that is, is this one on the far right is uh, if you're using a Mac or you're using a um, Windows based machine, you want to use these numbers if you want your device to be interchangeable. So it's essentially just the, the letters of the alphabet and the numbers of the keypad. Um, if you're going to start using shift, if you're going to say sh you have to press shift F to turn this device on, then that is going to be different on like say a Linux based machine or a Mac based machine. So uh, if you're using Windows like I am. So you might want to get um, both of those. So I'm going to come out to print here and, well, let's just start here. I'm going to come out of the um, platform independent outlet into the print. I'm going to lock it down and then we're going to look over here at this window and I'm going to press the G. And as you can see, I've pressed the G key and the message 103 came up. So this is the cell number of the G key um, from the keyboard. So if I wanted to use the G key to turn an, a device on or something like that, I would have to say um, key, something like key, SEL, cell output bangs based on the input matching, and then I would say, uh, what was it, 103? Yeah, 103. So here we go, and then I would come out of the key into the cell, and then out of the cell into a toggle. So it's going to toggle between on and off. So now when I lock this down and I press G, you can see that the toggle switch has become off, essentially. So it's off now. If I hit G again, it's back on. So that's... Um, the very simple way to do that, I'll come up with some more um, explanations uh, or devices that use this in the future, but I just wanted to show you how to get those numbers because it's kind of important um, to find those numbers quickly. I was going to do like a big graphic of the keyboard and go through this, but it was just too much work, I think. So for now, I'm going to move this over here, and then if we check out um, another print come out of the modified here. I'm going to lock it down and actually for now I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to press sh control G. And you can see that the number is much bigger now. It's a 4352. If I press shift G, it's 512. If I press alt G, it's 2048. So this is four different numbers just for the G key, but this is these last three are specific to Windows. So if you're using a Mac and using, um, what are they, control, Mac key, I forgot, it's been so long since I've used a Mac, but these numbers will be different for a Mac. Um, and there's one more thing I wanted to show you is if you don't want to use this print function that gives you this list of numbers here, which you can clear here, um, you can also do a number so N and then number right there. It's out. Display and output 
and number. So if I come out of here now, lock it down, and press G again, you can see that the number box has showed 103 for me. And if I press K, it's 107I. So that's another quick way to get the cell number inside of, uh, inside of the patch instead of having to deal with another window. But uh, both ways work, and both ways are good for their own types of situations. And that's how you would use your keyboard to start making some keyboard-enabled devices inside of Max for Live. Anyway, that was just a quick tip. Um, I was kind of thinking about how to do it, and I figured it out, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Anyway, uh, rate, subscribe, comment. It helps the channel, and we'll see you next time.